Age of Empires 4 has a crucial icon clarity problem that will haunt new players and old alike to get used to. Welcome to Age of Noob everyone, and let's talk about that. Alright, now let's get a few things straightened out first. This video is not about the subjective style. Some people like the modern, sleek look and others don't. I personally prefer the old Age of Empires 2 style with wood and steel and medieval looking menus and icons. But this video is not about that. It's about objective clarity. And before I continue, I'm rushing out these constructive videos so that people can provide feedback on the things that need fixing because we only have a small window of 3 days to tell the developers about these issues. Once the technical stress test is over, I will be able to begin making videos about the awesome and positive things that Age of Empires 4 excels at. However, for now, those will have to wait until all of us have provided the important feedback to the developers in the short time frame. So, without further ado, let's dive right in. I am going to look at things from a critical lens on every game that I showcase in this video. Let's start with the blacksmith. This is easily the worst offender of the bunch. Before I get into Age of Empires 4 though, I'll showcase how Age of Empires 2 has handled this. Here's a side by side between Age of Empires 2 and 4, and remember, Age of Empires 2 had an additional cav specific armor. The attack upgrades on the archers are extremely distinct. It's very easy to tell between fletching, botkin arrow, and bracer. Same thing goes with forging, iron casting, and blast furnace for the infantry attacks. However, both the infantry and the cavalry armors are problematic. We've played this game for over two decades, so we're used to these icons, but brand new players will struggle here. Take a look at the difference between those three and focus on the first and the last upgrade. They're way, way too alike. I understand that they went for the design of the armor type, scale, and plates respectively, but they missed the mark with the colors or some other way to differentiate between the two. The second upgrade is nice and dark so we know it's the better version of the first upgrade. But the third upgrade going back to the same silver color would confuse the player. This is not good design. The good news is that this is divided by the darkly colored technology, so there is some redemption for the designer, but it is nevertheless lackluster and has room to improve. But even with all of these faults, Age of Empires 2 is significantly better than Age of Empires 4 because while Age of Empires 2 got some of the icons slightly wrong, Age of Empires 4 got everything wrong. So let's dive into why that is the case. Number 1. All icons look the same for different technologies. In fact, this is the place where I could even go far ahead and call this straight up lazy design. The only indicator that you've researched something are those tiny three glowing dots at the top. Mind you, I love this and I think this would be a great improvement if added to the Age of Empires 2 technologies for newer players to get used to. But come on folks, Bloomery, Decarbonization and Damascus Steel all look the bloody same. They're using the same icon exactly. The same goes for the rest of the technologies as well. Some might argue that this streamlining is easier for players to understand. In other words, having the same icon for all of these three technologies allows player to only memorize three shapes. But I would argue against this by saying that it will further add confusion. Players will be like, wait, didn't I just research that? This is even more confusing when you're in the middle of the game playing and having to look at these tiny glowing icons and pay attention on whether they're grayed out or not or which tech you're currently on because they all look the same. It's added attention fatigue to the player having to focus on that tiny glowing dot or something grayed out. Number two, and perhaps the most problematic of the bunch is that the icons are all silhouette based. It has no depth, it has no color. Please have a look at these two. Even when zoomed in this close, it's difficult to tell which is which because the only difference is the arrow and the sword, which also look quite similar because they're about the same size. This same problem goes for the armor. The broken arrow and the broken sword look too alike and they break at the same angle. Even worse, they decided to use the same rectangle as the object for both the armor as well as the attack upgrades. Hence, all four of these look so much alike from a shape perspective. 
the silhouette design makes it worse, and the lack of color is the cherry on top. Here, just for fun, I'll overlay these icons on top of each other with 50% transparency on both. Have a look and judge for yourself. People who say that the icons are fine are often skipping an important factor. When you're playing the game at a very leisurely pace where you can stop and read the technologies one by one and build your peaceful city and whatnot, these design choices matter slightly less. This is often why the very casual players won't find much fault in this design because it doesn't really apply to them. This is perfectly fine by the way, because that's how they like to play the game. Even though they would benefit from a better design, it is not a make or break situation for them. However, for anyone playing on the ranked ladder, even those who are in the middle or lower end of the ladder itself, this is a huge detriment. The game will be played at a much higher pace, and we don't even have time to look at the shapes of the icons, let alone read them. Often, it's a quick, almost unconscious reaction time by our brains, using a combination of muscle memory and visual and auditory feedback to confirm our action. Right now, if the game releases like this, all we can do is to rely on our muscle memory, which is not infallible even for the best of players. A tiny lapse of focus will make you misclick on these because they're all the same color and they're all the same shape. Number 3, and this is admittedly nitpicking, but the icons completely lack character. What is the point of naming Bloomery or Decarbonization and Damascus Steel if they all look the same? Seriously, they're just classified as Melee Technology 1, 2, and 3. No icons, no colors. No historical depth as to why one is better than the other. This whole thing is lazy. When we compare to Age of Empires 2, even though it has lapses in its you know, historical accuracy, the blacksmith makes so much more sense. Fletching, botkin arrow, bracer. Scale, chain, and plate armor types. All of these have historical uses as time progressed. For those of you who are unaware, plate armor is so good at deflecting arrows away, and that's why plus 4 matters in Age of Empires 2. By the way, a good indication in icon design for me typically is how it looks like when it's quite small. When things are small, a lot of details are missed and only defining features are retained for the icon. Hence, if icons are distinguishable when they're really small, it means that they'll be even easier to differentiate when they're slightly larger. Here are AoE2's blacksmith icons, and here are AoE4's blacksmith icons. If people still defend the icon design of Age of Empires 4 after seeing this, I don't know what else to say. Now, other sections of the game are just as bad like the mining camp upgrades. Some are less so, but the problems exist throughout. Look at the difference between survival techniques and professional scouts. Look at the difference, or lack thereof, between camel support, camel rider shields, camel handling, camel barding? Trust me, it will be a nightmare for you to remember which camel was which when you're in the House of Wisdom playing as the Abbasid Dynasty. And what about the veteran horseman and the camel rider? Like what the hell is this? It's the same angle, same pose, same spear, same helmet, same colors. If you think players will be able to tell those two apart in the middle of the heat of a fast-paced RTS game, you're insane. I can go on, but you folks get the point. Icons across the board pose serious problems. Okay, we get it, the icons are bad, so what should we do about this? Well, I've spent around 30 minutes or so making a set of new blacksmith icons myself. Here's the two side by side. Now we can take a few approaches here. In the blacksmith, we could color code the technologies into defensive and offensive ones. So the defensive ones could have a slightly blue background and the offensive ones could have a slightly red one. You could make it a straight color or you can add more effects for more dramatic differentiation. This is something I came up with on the spot in 30 minutes. We can scrap this whole approach and just go for unique looking icons just like Age of Empires 2. Now, as is, my icons are definitely far from perfect and will need revisions and tweaks and a bunch of other things to iron out any issues. I'm not an artist. I don't own a degree in design, I don't take any courses in art. But if I came up with these icons in 30 minutes, you better believe that the developers could scratch the whole thing and start designing new, proper, colorful icons for release. Heck, if I go to Fiverr right now and hire a freelance artist, he or she can get a brand new set of icons that are colorful, intuitive, and easily distinguishable from the rest for the game for just a few hundred bucks. 
In fact, if the game launches as is without any changes to the icons, I am genuinely considering getting a freelance designer to design us players new icons under guidelines that I will myself draft. And one of the modders in my community can create a mod in the game that replaces all of these uninspired dysfunctional icons with easily recognizable colorful ones. Heck, if someone in the comment section below is a good designer who is willing to work with me on this in case the developers don't work on it, let me know in the comments below and we just might work together to improve this. Now, we're paying the developers $60 and hope that the game comes with good design, but if they won't fix it, trust me when I say that we, as a community, will do it ourselves. Please devs, listen to the community and change the icons. I really don't want Age of Empires 4 to be another Skyrim, an otherwise fantastic base game riddled with so many issues that the community has to roll up their sleeves and make patches themselves. Please do not be Bethesda. I hope you all enjoyed this analysis of the icons and let me know in the comments section below if you agree or disagree. I have a ton of additional content coming in the upcoming 3 days, so please be sure to subscribe if you want to always be up to speed with Age of Empires 4. Thank you so much for watching everyone, and as always, thank you for your continued support. To wrap up, art style and direction is a subjective thing. Some people may like or dislike the art you make. Some people might like the modern slick designs and others might prefer more character. That is fine and completely normal. But icons looking the same and being unrecognizable amongst each other is not a subjective matter. It is not an opinion that, on average, the icons are much tougher to tell apart than other games. It's a fact, and one that needs to be fixed. Thank you.